Hi, Nick Janowski here from Tucker's Dug and Delights, and guess what? It is that season to start seeing fleas and ticks. I often get this question is, what do they look like, and how do I identify them, and what do I do if I have them on my pet? Well, first, identifying them, you gotta know what they look like. I blew up some nice big pictures. They're not this size in real life, don't worry. But that's a tick. This is what a flea looks like but it's a lot smaller. One thing I keep on hand is my smartphone all the time. And guess what, they have an app for that. This is called Pest Expert, and it actually helps you identify what bugs you're looking at right now. You can even take a picture, I haven't tried it yet. You can take a picture of a bug that you see, and it will look and see if it can figure out what it is for you. So I recommend having something on your phone in case you're questioning if it really is or isn't the pest you think it is. All right, so now, how do I take care of the fleas and ticks or protect from getting fleas and ticks on my pet and actually myself in a natural way? Well, there's products. They're very simple. We got applicators just like the commercial brands. They, you know how you put the application right on the back of the neck, but they're non-toxic. So you get a three month supply for dogs with this company, you get a four month supply with this company. They use essential oils such as peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, lemongrass oil. It's all natural and they do say they kill and repel fleas and ticks. This is just a concentrate bottle so you don't have to buy little applicators. For dogs and cats I have both those products. Next, and I encourage you to use multiples of these together because they're all natural ingredients, I have spray-ons. They all come in different forms of essential oils um, and they all work in their different ways, but I always keep this on hand for Tucker. Um, they're all, they all work very well, but aside from having an applicator on for the whole month, if I'm going to the woods or going hiking or just gonna be outside all day with my dog or cat, I definitely recommend spraying them once a day when you're going to go outside. Another alternative is a collar. This one's Citronella based. I do recommend you can use this, even all three of these options all together to help protect your pet. If you have a problem, there are natural shampoos to help you get rid of the issue. That's what I recommend. Now, another thing, if a, t if a tick is already on your animal, how do you get them off safely and easily? Well, there's a thing that you can buy that we carry here at the store, it's called a tick key. I have good old Thunder here as my demonstrator. Happens to have a tick on the forehead here. You apply the tick key by going behind the tick and pulling behind and lifting up. That's it for fleas and ticks, the natural way. Thank you.